Hey guys, welcome to episode 1 of How to Make a Minecraft Animation. Today I'm going to be showing you a bit about how to create the environment. Now there are many different ways depending on how good your computer is. So first off, you always want to create a new project if you're doing it. Some, like a new project. So I'm just going to call this Project YouTube. And I'm going to keep all this as default. Accept. And I'll start a new scene in there. So I'm not going to save it. Okay, so first off, there are two different ways. There are one, you can create it with this plane field. Just scaling it up a bit. Or you can always use a box. Either one will work. I tend to use this because my computer isn't too good. But this is going to be for later on, so I'll just move that. So, you make it this size that you want, and uh, where's it? I'm gonna go add some more subdivisions. I'm gotta, I'm gonna add 15 and 15. So that's a decent size for block, or for block. Probably, yeah, I could probably add another 20 or 10 or 5. I'm gonna do 20 and 20. That should be good enough now. Now, you're going to want to go to um, rendering and hypersave. Let's wait for that to open. Once that's open, you create an ambart and you go to colors and you want to get all the files or create them yourself. I got the files, so I'm going to go on file. You can always make this by yourself too. But I'm just going to Go find it since it's faster. So I got my desktop, documents, and my craft textures from Maya. I'm just gonna have to find it. It's the grass, grass, grass. Oh, that's all up there. There it is. And you wanna select this and the number two and assign it to selection. And I'm just gonna rename it to grass. Now I'm going to create 6 on the keyboard. You can see it doesn't really end up that nice. So you want to go to your top view, go to polygons and create UV and planar mapping. You want to create this little box right there. And I'm just going to go on camera for now. You could always go on the, I think it was the Y axis. Yeah, it was the Y axis. And you can move this in the middle of this block or any of them. Shrink it to the size, and this one too. So, there's around good enough. Not gonna be perfect. But when you go on here now, it looks a bit more like a plain field. Or you could always do the more, the longer way, where you apply the textures on here, you duplicate the face, move it over here, sift duplicate again. That gets too much stuff on there, so it's not really that good. Then you just want to move your block, um, and I'm just going to line it up to all these, and you might have to make it a bit bigger because it's not even. Scale it up a bit more, and I'm gonna go to center pivot points. That should be good enough for a block. So you want to go back to Hypersade and add another file. And this time you're gonna want to add the side of the grass, and then you select all the faces except for the top and bottom. You go to your, you go to your Hypersade and you apply this to these ones. Doesn't look that good, so you select this face and this face. You go to your Z axis or whatever axis it's on, click apply, and see it go like that. Do the same for this face. Now, I don't know if there's a faster way, but 
This is the way I've been doing it for all my animation. It's supposed to be the x-axis. There we go. Select the top base and put the grass top on there. And probably... There we go. I don't really see the bottom, so I don't really need to put anything underneath it. So then you just take this and you line it up with the ground. You keep it as much as you want and make a field. Now for this, I'm just going to go on another scene that I made. I'm actually going to show you one of my Minecraft animations I've been doing. Oops, wrong one. You already saw this one on YouTube, but I'll show you everything that you saw. I could find it. No, not this one. Yeah. Such a pain doing this kind of stuff. Trying to, I gotta organize my stuff much better. So let's. No, this is the one that you guys are gonna see later on. YouTube user no animation one. I think that's the one. No. Oh my god. I'm sorry, guys. This might take a minute. I'm gonna have to reorganize this later on. Minecraft animation near the end, so I'm not gonna save this. But you guys should probably save it every once in a while, so you don't lose any files. So this was my first animation. It's a bit messy, but so let's just go to. So you can see how much trees and everything is in here. I should have probably organized them a lot better. Over here, so that's the new. I don't want that. Or is it? Uh, but you can see how I made the fields and everything. I didn't make a sky in this one because it was my first animation. The part where I made the sub on the ground. And there was like 300 or 3,000 frames just for that videos and this thing get rid of that just mess up but I'll be here back whenever I find the right file but so one minute okay so I'm back and this is one that I haven't posted on YouTube because I never got a chance to finish it it kind of looks a bit strange because I did the box like one and it didn't look right when I was done animating it. So I'm not gonna post on YouTube. But pretty much what was supposed to happen is there was supposed to be a big battle in there. But either way, you can see how everything is not placed that well in here, but you guys will probably do better. The field isn't that big because it's just seeing him go into the cave where the big battle would end up. Uh, get inside here. And you can see how the texture is in, oh, dude, one minute, fine. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, so, um, I think this is going to wrap it up for part one. In part two, I'm actually going to show you how to make all of these, like, houses and everything. Even though you, you might already know how to do it. By the, how I showed you how to make the blocks, it might be a bit easier, but, as you can see, like, every, the lines are that even over here. Even up here, right? look at that mess. That was terrible. It's a good thing you didn't see up there. So, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.